Salam beta, ke halba? Uh, anyway, um, this comment I think is absolutely hilarious. Um, it's hilarious on its own. It becomes even more hilarious when you account for the fact that it's underneath a video that has nothing to do with what you're going on your little tirade about. Um, and secondly, it becomes funny because of this one punchline. It's the I'm not even Indian. Now, as someone who is in school for African American studies with a concentration in the Caribbean, um, let's break down something for you. A, being that race is a social construct. Being that it is a social construct, it is viewed differently along different societal lines. An example of that would be the United States and the one drop rule, right? Which um, to answer the question of who is black, right? The answer would be um, any person with any known African ancestry, right? So this is the one drop rule, the black blood rule, um, the one black ancestor rule. Um, in, in Florida, the Jim Crow law was that if you had one black great grandparent, then the state would classify you as black. Which means using the United States historical definition, um, the four people in this photo, all of whom have a black father and a white mother, would be classified as black in the United States, according to the one drop rule. However, if you took them to South Africa, these people would not be considered black. They would be considered colored because of the racial definitions that exist within the country of South Africa. Now, much like the United States, Jamaica was also a society that was built on slavery. The difference is, is instead of enforcing the one drop rule, Jamaica had the brown racial group, which was the racial group between black and white. They were brown or free people of color, which is where these four people would fall under. A chart from a study done in 1960. Um, and if you look at how the races are broken down in Jamaica, you see there's African. Obviously, this would be people you classify as black. Um, European, people you would classify as white. There is East Indian and Afro East Indian, meaning East Indians and their mixed black descendants. Um, Chinese and Afro Chinese, meaning Chinese and their mixed black descendants. Um, Afro European or the group known as brown. And then there's other. So in summary, the world does not revolve around the United States of America and their perceptions and view of any various topic. That's one. Two. Jamaica is a country where, due to the Atlantic slave trade, the majority of the people are of African descent. Um, but due to things such as religious persecution, which led to Portuguese Jews and Syrian, Lebanese, Palestinian Christians coming to the island, as well as the indentureship after slavery, which led to a lot of Chinese and Indians coming to the island, there are some Jamaicans who have ancestry that is not solely African. Them having pride in that ancestry that is not African does not equal shame in the African ancestry. It just means that they are able to love themselves in their entirety. Out of many one people, folks.